On Thursday, the judge bar media, family, and family from first hearing of Julian Silvera's murder case. Journalists as well as Julian Silvera's daughter and her mother were on Thursday barred from the first hearing of the murder case against a former People's National Party Member of Parliament, plunging the high-profile matter into controversy. Wonder why they did that? The order to exclude the media and Silvera's family was issued by presiding judge Justice Venet Graham Allen, who said no one has to exercise discretion in each case. However, she indicated that at a later date, his family and the media will be allowed in to observe the case. The order appeared to leave Silvera's family disappointed as they were heard asking among themselves why the judge didn't allow at least one person in. Silvera has been charged with murder in relation to the death of his wife Melissa on November 10, 2023. It was initially reported that she died in her sleep at their Stony Hill St. Andrew home. However, when the autopsy was performed, it showed that she had several gunshots wounds and six weeks after her death, investigators opened a murder investigation. Six weeks with gunshot wounds. Tell me, sir, nobody didn't see no gunshot wounds and nobody never see the blood. Silvera, who had won the St. Mary Western seat for the PNP in 2011, was charged last Friday. He has been charged with murder alone for now, according to Fitz Bailey. So, the people him, they got here, they wanted to see him. It's a high profile case. It's a, one of the second in months high profile case. We know about Paul Wells daughter and now this with the politicians them and some involvement to do with these things. It's kind it's disgraceful. Silvera is a fifty two year old man and his wife was about forty two, something like that. He's a land developer and it's like he's the king of St. Mary. St. Mary. They are very prominent in St. Mary. So he's scheduled to return to court on February 8th when it, it is expected that this document will be ready because they couldn't try, they couldn't um, ask for bail hearing because the documents weren't complete. As usual, what's new in, in court? People turn up in court and the documents are not ready all the time. According to his lawyer, he has maintained his position of innocence from day one. And he, he's not saying that he is innocent because he understands that there's a report to that effect. So, According to him, he said no lawyer should ever really say that because if you are certain, then you would be a witness. Right? So it's his job to to um to represent this man. And he's asking people they must be very understanding because there are three little kids to consider. And yes, I wish if people were like that. You know, take into consideration when it comes to children, a lot of us have soft spot. And, you know, these children, they're going to grow up knowing that if, if he's guilty, which a person is not guilty, a person is innocent until proven guilty. But if he's guilty, can you imagine what those, how those kids are going to grow up? What it's, their life is going to be like knowing that they're father killed their mother and the case um is very, a very high profile case even when they grow up and they google it they can see all these things that's happening silvera though that family has gone through a lot because they shared four sons together and in 2017 the couple suffered the heartbreaking loss of their two-year-old son justin 
which was drowned in their pool at their home. And when you read the, the comments, you see a lot of mixed feelings with, with, um, you know, people are saying all sort of things. But, you know, I am not going to bash him too much. Not because he's a politician, not because he's high profile, but because of those children. Those children is going to be going through a lot. Regardless of whatever the circumstances, even if he's proven innocent, some people say um, these people lie too much. He's guilty as sin, and you name it, you name it. There, if when you read the comments, they are saying a lot of things, and um, you know, what can you say? Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home, and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? you are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button. And remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.